hello and welcome back to another Go Export video tutorial. Today, I will be showing you how to set up OBS with Go Export. But first, what is OBS used for? OBS is a screen recorder and live streamer software used by popular Twitch streamers and YouTubers. Go Export now supports OBS out of the box. Go Export with OBS provides better video quality and supports more operating systems than Go Export native capture. It also offers higher quality video overall. So it's a very suitable upgrade for if you desire higher video quality from Go Export. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, go to obsproject.com, which can be found on your screen now. And now, click on the operating system that you use. Note that Go Export officially supports both Linux and Windows. Today, I will be showing the Windows installation process. Once OBS downloads, simply install it like you would any other software. Great. So now that OBS is installed properly, we can now move on to setting it up, which is actually pretty simple. Alright, so the first thing you'll see in OBS, is this message asking you to specify what you'll be doing with it. You don't need to worry about these settings, you may simply exit out of this page, or set it up how you want. I'll simply exit out of it. Now, let's enable the OBS WebSocket server. Simply go up to Tools on the toolbar at the top of OBS. Click WebSocket Server Settings. For the most simple setup, simply follow my settings. Make sure you don't ever expose this server to the internet, as it doesn't have a password and is unsecure. That should not be a problem for you, however, because if you have ports exposed, you already know what you're doing. But on stock routers, you should be safe to continue with this. If you'd like a more secure setup, please click on the link on the screen now to read more about it. Now simply click OK and open up Go Export. Make sure you are using the latest version of Go Export. At this time, it's version 0.15.1. As you can see, Go Export has successfully connected to OBS. But before you get started, here are a few additional changes you should make to OBS. Make sure you mute all audio devices in the audio mixer on OBS. This will prevent doubling up audio, which may be confusing. And now you're ready to use Go Export. Simply follow the on-screen prompts for Go Export, and your video will now be recorded with OBS. For some additional tips, check out the OBS Guide to Profiles and Scene Collections, the link to which is on your screen now. And finally, please remember that Go Export will make its own profile and its own scene, it will not overwrite your already existing profiles and scenes. So that's it for this video. I hope this video helped you out and you are now using OBS with Go Export. As always if you need help, please consider joining our Discord community, the invite of which can be found here, or in the description on YouTube or Flash Themes along with all of the other links. Thank you for watching, have a lovely day.